Oh my goodness. You guys, it is windy out here. The sun is shining, but it is really windy. Well, not really windy. I'm being, ex I'm exaggerating. But I just wanted to talk to you guys. You know how I love to listen to, how you doing today? You know how I love to listen to my, uh, a podcast. Well, I was listening to this woman. Her name is Stephanie Perry. You, she has a podcast, but she also does her you, YouTube videos, which is connected. You know, she's a, a content creator. I'm starting to fall in love with it, this, that, that niche. Well, that kind of way that you can make money being a content creator, but getting off track. She was interviewing this doctor um, this doctor who's a psychologist, psychologist named Kamina. I'm going to spell her name because I can't pronounce it. K-I-M-A-N-I, -I, Dr. Kamina. And just, you know, they were talking about exit strategy, exiting jobs that are toxic. And her job is, now, let me tell you a little bit about Stephanie. Stephanie left the corporate world. Black woman um, her her thing, her mission is to get black women, if they don't like working in the corporate world, to get them to make money outside of the corporate world, right? And um, or, or a JLB period, because as black women, if we're not creating our own, you know, in the in the world, the world could be toxic, especially corporate. You know, a lot of white people. Um, and not every white people is like, like this. So, you know, don't get your panties in a bunch, but she was saying, get out of there. The money could be good. The benefits could be good, you know, but what it, what it's doing, the corporate is like, um, COVID is killing black people, especially black women. Stress is the number one killers girls. Listen. Stress is the number one killer, right? It could cause all kind of havoc to the body, to the mind, to the spirit, right? So her mission, she got out of the corporate world. She does um, videos on traveling. Um, she does house sitting and she put together an ebook on how to um, make money house sitting, right? And so with that, that allowed her to travel and live wherever she wants in the world. She was saying the United States is a toxic place for black people or people of color, especially black women. So she got the heck out of the, not, the United States. But getting back to what they talked about is putting together your exit strategy. Girl, I, I was like leaning in. I was really leaning in because I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm, I I have this desire. I put I'm working on hush hush. Don't tell nobody, y'all. I am working on a project that um, I pray you know prayed about and everything that will allow me to bring in an income right outside of a job right. And so you know in the Bible it says the Lord gives us the ability to create wealth right and. The thing is, is that what these scriptures, you know, they have principles that talk about the power of God and, and you know, how he can manifest things in your life, you having a relationship. But the thing is that you, you got to believe it. But let's get back to Stephanie Perry. You can go to YouTube and, and look her up and um, and talk, and look that, that video up where they're talking about the working in a toxic workplace, right? So... Um, they said, put together exit strategy. Don't, and don't listen, don't go talking to these people because everybody that's nice to you on the job, they ain't your friend, child. They ain't your friend. They will stab you in the back and feed you to the vultures. Listen, you know what I'm saying? And especially um, these white racist people. <laughs> and I'm not, not all white people like that, but a lot of these white people in corporate world are racist, right? And so, so you cannot do, um, let, let's just say this, your work is not good enough for them to really like you, 
okay? So do not be trusting people on the job, telling them your business because they will stab you in the back and feed you to the vultures, okay? <laughs> listen now, listen. So, so what you do is undercover, and she was saying, you know, what you do undercover, quietly start planning, right? Start planning, write out your blueprint. How you going to get out of there? What you going to do to make money? And if you plan to leave the United States, girl, research where you want to be. And sometimes you don't have to like, you could like live in different places. Like my friend, her name is Agnes. Child, she moved from Africa um, to the United States. She stayed in the United States for 20 years. And now she's going to Panama for a few weeks just to see if that's where she wants to reside in, if that's where she wants to retire, right? So my thing is, it don't only apply to the job, your exit strategy, putting together your exit strategy don't only apply to a job, but it also applies to um, if you're in a toxic relationship, right? Um, what, whatever is going on. If you're in a toxic church, right? So whatever is going on that where you where people don't really appreciate your value, get out. Y'all remember that movie, Get Out? It was a thriller, right? If you don't know that movie, Google it, Get Out. It was so good. Um, so, and especially as, as people of color, as black women, we're like the... the we're like the most disrespectful, the under under um, valued, um, under appreciated people that you could ever want to meet, because people do not appreciate us and love us. So who's gonna have to save us? Who's gonna have to love us? Who's gonna have to take care of us? Is we are by the grace of God, right? By the grace of God, let you know being led by the Holy Spirit because I am a Christian. I always talk the Holy Spirit. I always talk about God. I always, you know, I always, you know, pray for the, like me getting out of my exit strategy, putting together this beautiful, beautiful plan. It's, I can, I'm not going to take credit for myself. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, once I'm successful, I am successful. I'm going to call it in existence. Speak it. Speak it. You know, they said, as a man think it, so is he. I am successful. I think it. I know it. And I'm going to live it. But um, as I was saying, make a plan. And so you just hee hee ha ha smile in their face, make them think everything is okay. And before you know it, you like packing your bags and out of there and say, uh, have a great day. <laughs> you like, like, see, like you're going to see the, the back of me. Okay. The last thing you're going to see is the back of me. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, but you know, Everything is in love. Just love yourself so much, especially black women. We need to do like self-care, love ourselves, you know, and love each other, you know, value each other. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I already have my passport. I did say that. Um, I'm excited each and every day, you know, it's, it's, I always say, Lord, this is the day that you have made and I will rejoice in it. And I look for nothing but great things from you, Lord Jesus. And I said, Lord, this project that I'm working on, um, help me, you know, guide me, show me things that I don't see, you know, and um, deliver me from any negativity, you know, just because it's hard do not mean that it is impossible, right? So if you're going after something, may it be entrepreneurship to transition from where you are in a place you don't like, tell God, learn it learn it there's all kind of even free things out here to teach you how to you know if you want to start a business teach you how to start a business right all this free stuff you know modern technology helps us we can learn it for free right and so um i'm excited i'm excited and when i'm like okay lord when things are, when the enemy start to take things away from you, um, and, and the, mo the enemy, he's like after your joy, child, and try to control your mind. That's what I'm saying. So get out. Get your exit strategy 
live life to the fullest, to the best of your ability, right? Um, connect with people that love you, that understands you and value you, right? So that you can live your authentic and be your authentic self, right? You know, like on the job, when we go to work, <laughs> this what she was saying, when we go to work, we like put on a whole different face. We become a different character just to appease these people in corporate America, the hee hee and, and ha ha, and all the time deep inside we're getting sick. You know, we're, we're stressed out. You know, we don't feel valued. And then we get home, what do we do? We yell at the kids and we kick the dog. You know, and we we not like loving our husbands like we're supposed to because it's like, you're thinking like, I can't take it out on these people because I really need my job. Oh, I, I love the benefits. You know, I love the money, but it's killing you. You can't even enjoy it, right? So, child, start planning. You know, that's, ooh, I can't say that enough. I cannot say that enough. Let me see what else she put here. Um, this says, yeah, that's all. This is so simple. This video is going to be short because I got to go back to work. I'm on my break. I just wanted to talk to you guys. Walk back with me, okay? Let me grab my purse. Let me grab my, my notepad, but walk back with me. Um, so put in, don't forget you guys, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. I'm sharing my journey of my life. You know, um, I know that God is some things is happening in my life that's causing me to that would cause anybody to like have doubt go into depression feel unworthy but God says no what the devil means for bad God is going to turn it into good I said watch watch the enemy uh, have me work in your life God said he's going to prepare a table in the presence of my enemy and I'm like thank you Jesus and it's not to like say, um, because God said he don't want nobody to perish, right? It's not to say, he, he, ha, ha, pointing the finger at them. Look what God did for me. Ha, 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 ha. No. <laughs> it's to say, look at how wonderful and loving God is. And what he did for me, he could do for you. And the best thing, better than things or helping me with my project, bigger and better is my relationship with Jesus is growing into Christ and knowing that I am saved and covered in the blood of Jesus Christ right just surrendering my life to God and having a relationship with him and you know like when bad things happen just say hey God I can't handle this you handle it God I know that you have better for me I'm, you know, I'm a ch your child. I know that you have better for me. And don't get all caught up that, oh, um, we're using God as a, as a ATM machine because God does want better for us. He knows our heart. He knows that, um, that I love him. And God says, you know, when he blesses you, he wants us to be a blessing to others, right? So he knows, he, he deals with each and every one of us individually on a different basis, according to our hearts, according to knowing to what, what our needs are. You know, he says he's, he wants to meet our needs. He goes, you have not because you ask not. So I'm asking God to help me with my exit strategy, <laughs> help me with this project, build my financial, um, build up my finance because God said he gives us the ability to create wealth. Remember that? So I just wanted to encourage you. Don't forget. My hair is blowing all over the place, right? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, you guys. Subscribe to my channel. I will be back next time. Put your comments. What is your exit strategy? What you trying to get into so that you can exit out of what's not serving you? Well, have a blessed day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.